This is the bottom half of the uh, garlic ball slicer, and it is a challenging part. Um, there's lots of curves to it, not a whole lot of flat surfaces, and it has to mate up perfectly with the top part. So luckily, I have the top part. I'm going to show you how to make a new part, not from a uh, part file, but from an assembly file. So we're going to make a new assembly. We're going to place in the, the, the outer top. So this belongs to your teammate. You're going to have to get that from him. And we are going to create a new part. And I'm going to call this, uh, that was called outer top, so I'm going to call this outer bottom. Okay, and I have to pick some surface. I'm going to pick this edge here that we can use as a reference. I'm going to start a 2D sketch. And that's where I put the plane is based off of that surface. So I'm going to make a new sketch on this XY plane. And I'm going to look at it from this side over here. And we're going to project the geometry. And I'm going to start to make this part. Okay. In order to make this, it's actually not that bad. We're going to use two ellipses. I'm going to use that same center point that we had before. Go all the way to that outside edge, and then click on this outside line here. Same center point, outside edge, outside line up here. I'm going to make a line that goes through the middle. And then I'm going to start to trim off stuff that we're not going to use. After we have that, we're going to revolve this. That's the section to revolve. This edge here is our axis, but it's not going to be a full revolve. We're going to do an angle. And it's a 180, so it just goes back to there. Now we have to make some different cutouts. Um, first thing I'm going to do is try and figure out what's going on with these sides. So I'm going to make a new sketch here on this surface. And I'm actually going to project geometry from a 3D view so I can see what I'm looking for. So I'm trying to find where the edges of these things were. There and there. Uh, and I'm also going to get this top surface here. And we're going to extrude. Oh, I did not do what I hoped it would. Nope. Okay. So let's go back to looking at the sketch. We'll look straight at it. And I'll go F7. I think this stuff might be getting our way of doing what I really want to do. It's just not going to be nice to us. Okay. We're going to use ellipse again. It's basically the exact same thing we just finished doing. I'm going to draw... Actually, forget lines. I'm going to go with a rectangle. That will give me both those lines at the same time. Trim off the stuff I'm not going to use. There. And through here. Top part of that. This whole half here. and those three parts of that line. Now, now we have some some solid bits. Let's see if we can't uh, go back to an ISO view and see if I can extrude just that piece. Distance to... I wonder if I can do two next, going the other direction. It doesn't like that. Can I just say two? Sometimes you get lucky. You get a thing like this. You pick a previous surface that's referencing. We're not getting lucky this time. Sorry, kid. So instead, I'm going to say extrude. And I'll look at it from the side. And that's huge. That's okay. We'll say okay. We'll cut off that top half. So we're going to go into... Uh, or origin folder. 
find the YZ that goes right through the middle and make a new sketch on that. We're going to slice graphics and then project geometry. of that cutout. We're going to extrude that geometry both directions, distance of all. Oh, you know what? Cancel that. My mistake. That's what we did the first time through. Second time through, that's the part that we're keeping. This is the part that we're cutting. And let's see if we can extrude just the top half of that rectangle. We can. Check that out. Cut, distance, all, both directions. Bam! So already we have that these two sides are going to match up. Uh, we have some overbite here. So I'm going to need to fix that. That's going to need a plane on uh, this surface here, which is not going to give to me. So we have to try and figure out how far it is to this surface. That means we have to go back to our first sketch that we made. I am going to make a reference line. And dimension how far from there to there. It's going to give me an error. I'm going to accept it anyway. It says, hey, you can't use that for dimensioning purposes. But I'm just using it for a reference. Uh, 1.469. So, let's go back to here. Oh, you know what? We may have gotten lucky. No, the opposite of lucky. Dang it. Okay. We're going to have to make a new plane based off of this and go out some distance. Hey, looks like it's about... 0.625. It's luckier than we thought. We're going to make a new sketch on that plane. Here we can project geometry from the previous little bit, and that's from the, the top here, that little tab that comes down. Uh, it is going to need to be cut out, so that's one way to do it right there. We're just going to say extrude cut and we don't want it to go all the way through so one inch in it's not going to hurt anything although now we do have a little bit of a gap here we can fix that later but let's just play around with what we can play around with and this doesn't have to be entirely perfect as much as we would like it to be uh, let's go make a new sketch on the XZ plane, and before we do that, I'm going to turn off this work plane. So there's the visibility on that. And XZ plane, that is part way into the part, so we'll make a new sketch there. I'm going to slice graphics again. And I really want to see the back half of this. So I'm going to project geometry. difficult to tell but that's exactly what I'm looking for um, this bit here I don't know if they're gonna let me project any part of that I sure would like to I think we just got a point yeah there's that point is the line we're looking for. That's how far up it goes. I'm going to switch to a two-point rectangle. And I am going to cut that out. Cut, distance, all. There. So now we have, on the back half, however far that came down to make the, uh, the little hinge, we now have a cutout. 
and we also have a couple of flat spots here where we can make our own sketch if we slice graphics that's going to match up with that so let's go back to looking at the picture the image shows that there's a little bit of a bubble built up on either side and the hole goes all the way through so here's the hole we're looking for and this material is going to be built up so we're going to project uh, I guess we're projecting that geometry if we can doesn't want us to do that. Let's try one other thing. Can we get any part of this? Because it sure would be nice to have something that looks just like that on the other side. Okay. Make a little bit of a line. Make a little bit of a circle try and fill in the other bit of the line down here and I think we had some fillets on here of like 0.05 or something I'll trim off around the circle we're gonna finish the sketch and we are going to extrude that going the other direction. It's not going to go very far. Uh, we're adding material. We'll call this like a... Oh, not one point. Point one. We have one there. We'll have another one over here. This will be much easier because we can just take this thing that we already made, project it, finish our sketch, and extrude that as well. It's going the other direction, adding material, point one. Okay. So now we have closed off the top parts there. We have a hinge for the back, and we have a cutout here. So if we go to return, we could say that these things are no longer adaptive so these are two separate parts but they have a constraint between this axis and this axis and I can take one of these things and ground it and still slide side to side so I'm going to say that has to be mated to that And you should, should is the key word. Uh, what just happened? We have a flush that shouldn't be there. Aha! You should have a, a garlic ball that starts to open and shut. Now there's some little tweaks and fixes you can do around it. But this is getting you part of the way there. So hopefully this is helpful. If not, I will see what I can do again at a later time.